Hello tribe, welcome back to my channel. Today's reading is very lighthearted. Valentine's Day is around the corner. So I thought about doing a topic, who has a crush on you, who loves you. Some of the people might be aware of who this person is, some of you might not. I'll try to be as specific as possible. But before we start, I'd like to say that this video is sponsored by Keen. Keen is a website that has psychics, mediums, channelers, astrologists, tarot readers, Anyone who's interested in spirituality, I feel like you're going to find Keen interesting. And right now they have a promotion going for any new member for 10 minutes, only $1.99, which is up to $99 of savings. If you'd like to have a personal reading and to use their promotion going right now, go to their website. It's pretty easy to use. Just click on the link that I've provided down below. Get started. And there is a call or chat option. For me personally, when I tried Keen, I connected to one psychic that I felt a pull to. And I think that's important for you to feel a connection between you and the psychic that you've chosen. The person that I booked with worked pretty fast. So I didn't really have to spend a lot of time with them. They responded to my questions very quickly and they were very specific, which I really appreciated. If you want to use this opportunity and get a discount, once again, Use the link down below, trykeen.com slash Brigitta, and let's get back to the video. So tribe, here are your options. Option number one is on your left. Option number three is on your right. I don't have any objects here today in front of me. I want you to purely choose using your intuition on your eyes, and let's get your piles. Hey, group one, let's see. Who has an eye on you? Who has feelings for you? So this gray deck is from the Texture Tarot. In case anyone will be asking, this is Game of Thrones. And this is Steampunk Kipper. Let's get some information about who this person is. You have Eight of Swords. You have the Queen of Wands. You have the Queen of Cups. Okay, interesting. And the Page of Cups. Let me tune in. I hope you can see well. First thing first, this is someone who is mostly in their feminine energy. As most of you know, we have both. This is a very, very creative individual. And something that I want to say, how you can recognize this person, they, um, regardless of how old they are, they'll always have a young soul. This is someone who is super creative. You may know that this person paints. Um, does something that requires creativity. It could be anything. But Queen of Wands in this deck in particular, we're seeing brushes. This person might be into makeup, does their hair very nicely. Anything that they do, they look at it from the aesthetical point of view. And it's very important for them to look good. It's important for them to smell good. It's important for them to have a very nice home even if it's not a very expensive home they'll make sure that their interior will look nice or there is going to be a particular maybe statue or vase that represents their personality really well now a little bit about this person's story right now what i'm seeing they're thinking about moving now it could be moving into a new home it could be moving country or town um, but something has happened or is happening in their life right now that doesn't allow them to move just yet. It's almost as if there is a restriction of some sorts or something is interfering into their move. But soon enough, they will be able to do what they want to. Um, there is no need to worry for this person. This is a very, very intuitive person. And this person seems to be wishing you well. I think a lot of you know who this person is. You crossed paths with them. Um, you don't have to know them on a personal level. Um, maybe this is a friend of a friend or um, someone that you have met online. But this person um, is wishing you well. This person thinks of you. If they pray, they pray for you. Um, we have a very sweet vibe coming through here. I keep getting that this person wants to take you um, somewhere theatrical. I don't know what it means. Maybe they literally want to suggest you go into theater. 
they may want to invite you to a movie or to see a gallery or museum, anything like that. How you can recognize who this person is, they may have mentioned that to you or um, they will be proposing that with a page of cups in the near future. Let's get more cards. I'm gonna be using the steampunk tarot. Anything that we need to know about this person's look? How do they look? We have the Six of Cups. Yeah, this is someone that you know of. This is not a stranger to you. You've heard of them. You heard someone talk about them. But when I say that this individual might be shy, they might not be very forthcoming with their feelings. Uh, because the feelings that they have is super deep with the Queen of Cups here and the Page of Cups. The page is almost as if I'm not ready to tell you this, um, but I've been feeling you for a while now. This is someone slightly taller than you are, but you, wo you won't have a massive height difference. How does this person look? Mm, this is someone who has dark hair or dark features overall. Brown eyes. For some of you, this might be a, a male who has facial hair. But what to pay attention to regardless of the sex of this person? Um, this person will have a very deep look. When you look into their eyes, it can be almost intimidating. But deep down, they're a very soft person. This might be someone who has a very serious demeanor. But once you get to know them, you realize that this is someone who is just using their seriousness maybe as a front um, or as a defense. They don't want to get to know just anyone. This is someone who craves deeper connections and they're probably not very out there um creatively yes but when it comes to socializing with other people that they don't know they're probably going to hold back a bit they're going to be observing everyone else and only when they intuitively in their gut feel like they want to get to know the other person that's when they're going to sit next to them they're going to ask questions they will be talking to them freely Is this person going to take action towards you? Sorry, let me adjust the camera slightly. Mm, the angle is off. Will this person take action towards you? You have the king and the queen of wands here, so you would be a good match for sure. Um, you'd live a very interesting, very exciting life. You probably both will want to travel, experience new things. Mm, you have a lot of fire in both of you and that fire would drive you forward. If you decided to be with this person, will he take action towards you? Yes, definitely yes. And it's gonna come through unexpectedly for you. I think you're going to be surprised. Or you're going to be surprised once you get to know this person, that they're very different from what you imagine them to be. Let's see. Anything else? I'm just pulling a couple of cards that have lyrics on them. Oof, one on the floor, you miss it. This is someone who's seen you grow, seen you grow and change. You know this person for at least um, three years now. Why well, I'm saying that because when, whenever I pull the Flora, Flora Cash song, you somebody else, and it says, but you are somebody else, only it ain't on the surface. And this is someone who's seen you grow, who's seen you go through struggles, even if they were not um, very close to you, but maybe they heard uh, from a friend or from a co-worker how you're doing or 
the journey that you are on. I really feel like this person watches you on social media. Watches your story, how your life unfolds. And with storms, you do better. This is someone who would be a really good partner because they would want to motivate you. They would want to help you with your own endeavors. Um, they would be very supportive of your dreams. It says, I know everything is okay. I'm going to need you to do better. Let it breathe. Especially when it comes to difficult moments in time, um, there would be someone who's right next to you. Let's see, anything else? Mm -hmm. Maybe for some of you, this is someone that you have let go of already. Or it doesn't have to be that you were in relationship. It can be that you spent some time together and this connection kind of disappeared from your life. And you didn't think too much of it and it may be coming back again. But keep getting that this is completely up to you and you are in charge. Whatever you want to do with this um, connection... I don't know why. It's like you are in control. Let me see. Ah, if you want to communicate with this person and get to know them more because there is so much to them um, that we don't see, I'm getting. You're being nudged to take action from your end. To nudge them a little bit. To, to say, okay, I'm open to getting to know you. Um, just give them a little sign or a hint. Anything. Um, this is someone who doesn't want to be invasive. Anything else? <laughs> okay, just a suggestion. Just a suggestion. Let's see. Um, I'm going to pull from the woman's angel deck. Anything else that we need to know? What is waiting around the corner? What is waiting around the corner regarding this person? I feel like some of you are just checking in pile number one um, to see who loves you or who has a crush on you and this is a person that you're already with. Yeah. <laughs> Give your relationship a chance. flirt at first it may start light-hearted but after some time i'm feeling that you'll be really down to exploring this connection more yeah the passion will kick in um you will understand once you get to know them this person will become even hotter in your eyes will be even more attractive than before but first someone has to give this a chance and i really feel like this is for you um, it can be for this other person too, but I really feel like they're ready. They're ready to step in. By the way, someone in either you or this person was betrayed in the past couple of times. So what you might be learning is how to trust again or how not to bring that baggage into a new relationship. I split the deck, we have wedding. I mean, I'm not surprised to see this here because we have the queen and the king of wands and this is a power couple type of dynamic. Um, a really, really good match. Maybe they even told you that or they will tell you that. Don't you think we would be a really good match? This is a very sweet vibe, pile number one. Let's see, anything else that we need to know about this person, how to recognize them? How can you recognize them? At this time, or pretty soon, you're going to find out that this person has learned how to take breaks. Maybe they used to burn out, they used to work quite a lot, um, they used to not to listen to their body. And what they're learning is how to listen to when their body is tired and when to give themselves rest. Maybe they are tired literally at this time time as i'm speaking but i really think you're going to hear from them pretty soon with the eight of wands and the good news for a lot of you you are in contact already it feels like i'm picking up the beginning phases of a relationship here and then i'm picking up someone else's already a relationship phase so some of you are just checking in and others of you can expect this new beautiful start 
I hope it made sense. If you need more content, find me on Patreon and thanks for being here. Until the next one. Hey group two, let's check. Let's see. So the decks that I'm using, Texture Tarot, Game of Thrones and Steampunk Kipper. Let's get to it. Partnership. We have the Ace of Cups. Interesting. We have the Tower. We have the Sun. And the Chariot. What a strong energy coming through here. <laughs> Why I'm laughing is because whoever this person is, first of all, I feel like you've met either through your coworker or through work or collaboration of some sort, but you had some sort of business dealings together. It could be as simple as you want to get something stamped and that person was working there. It could be um, going for a coffee and that person served you coffee. But this feels like a very new crush. And I want to say that this person is really scared about coming close to you. I don't know if you did anything already or you said something to them or the way you reacted to them or you talked to them the last time you saw them, but this person is very scared to let you know that they like you even the slightest. Let's see why. I'm going to use this steampunk towel. Give me a sec, my laptop is having a hard time to breathe. <laughs> you know what? I really feel like this is applicable. This person's almost like, I can't breathe. The moment I think about telling you what I want to say, I can't breathe. Like it's too much. Why are they scared? Why are they scared? Mm, they feel like they have too much going on. Or too much has happened already. So you're going to have to know and determine where you sit in this message. Why are you too scared? What is this? Chariot twice. They think that this somehow, if they get rejected, that this might impact their reputation in some way. Or, because they're quite sensitive, it might hurt them very deeply. And they will shut down, they will close off. But what they want you to know, they want you to read them better. <laughs> they really want you to read them better so that they don't have to go through all of this anxiety. I really feel like this could be someone who suffers from anxiety, social anxiety especially. This is someone who wants to say, hey, I really like you, but I'm shitting my pants. <laughs> One day I will, the sun will come up, right? Clarity will come. That's when I'll feel like I overcame this fear of mine that I have, letting you know what I'm feeling. Um, let's look. How can we recognize this person by looks? Anything about their looks? Anything about their looks? For a lot of you, this person has short hair. Uh, for some of you, this is someone who has a bob cut. For a couple of you, this person has started slightly balding at the very front, front line of their hair. How does this person look? Yeah, this is someone who, for most of you, who's older than you are, for at least five years. This is not a young individual. The very young in their soul with the Ace of Cups and the very adventurous, I want to say. 
But there was a point in time when they had to stop being as adventurous as they wanted to be because responsibilities happened. Maybe they had, they found a really important job or they found a job that requires quite a lot a lot of their time and energy and um, their routine changed. Maybe for some of you, this is someone who has a child and there are a lot of responsibilities. I can't just get up and go and travel. I can't just get up and do whatever I want. This person is very mature. Um, they know what it is like to be responsible. And the same way they are quite responsible about their feelings. But um, you wouldn't be able to tell that this is someone who sh mm, who'd be anxious about letting you know what they feel. This is someone who, I really want to say this for some of you. This reminds me of like a teacher and student dy dynamic, energetically speaking. I can't say that because that's going to get me in trouble. Or I cannot approach this person because that goes against rules. Or I cannot tell this person that I like them because I work with them. That's what kind of vibe I'm getting here for pile number two. This would cause I'm getting quite a lot of difficulties is that if I did tell them what I wanted to tell them. But one day I feel like they're really going to go for it. It's almost as if they're waiting for something. What is this? For a green light. You know that song by... Who is it by? Wait. Let me find it. I'm pretty sure some of you already know what what I want to say. Mm. John Legend. Give it a listen. Maybe there is a message for you there. Will they go for it? Interesting. A plot twist. For a lot of you, you know who I'm describing. I feel like you know exactly who I am describing. But what's happening next for you is that there is going to be another suitor coming into your life. <laughs> another option. So you're going to have to make a choice who you want to invest your time and energy in. Who feels closer to your heart? Um, some of you I'm feeling here, you tend to guard yourself um, and it's because you either didn't have a good role model, model, a male good role model in your life, and, and therefore you don't have as much trust as someone had a present, loving, emotional, emotionally intelligent father. Um, there was a bit of a guard to you that I'm picking up here. And I feel like it's hard to get to you. Okay. I'm gonna pull a couple of, well, if you can call it cards. These are just musical notes. Mm, too many. What do we need to know if you were with this person? What do we need to know if you were with this person? We have Summer Days by Martin Garrix and Mac Lamont. She looks good in the morning and she don't even know it. Yeah, it's like this person sometimes eats you with their eyes. And then we have The Rudimental, more than anything, featuring Amelie Sandes. If I, if I could trust, don't you think I would let you touch me? See, I talked about trust issues. Mm, not trusting, having Seven of Wands, card is in my head right now if i could trust don't you think i would let you touch me i hope there is still hope for me so maybe for some of you this is someone that you had difficulties with in the past i'm not picking up that this is many of you i feel like this is some sort of professional mm, relationship that you have with each other and you haven't gotten to it you haven't gotten to it and i really feel like for part two you are on different 
levels emotionally. One person sees the other as just wonderful. But it's a lot to do with the, uh, with the looks, not as much about personality, at least for now. But the other person is kind of minding their own business and focusing on what they have to focus on. Let's see. Your ancestor guide is here to talk now. And when this comes through to randomly like this, I'd say pay attention to what visions, um, hints, messages, signs you are receiving lately. Just a random message then we have mystique scandalous the way you move so scandalous it's all about the two of us one night stand is not enough yeah what i'm picking up with this i'm not picking up as deep of the feelings as i did in pile number one this is about the sexual exploration or there is a bit of that um Because it's dangerous or because I'm not, I'm not supposed to do that, that's why I want it. That type of situation. Let's see. Anything else? Anything else? What can you expect happening between you two, if anything at all? Yeah, because I can't get it easily or I can't get it at all. That's why I wanted more. I feel like someone is fantasizing quite a lot in this pile. Like big time. We have let love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Clear message. Why I'm picking up that pal number two doesn't want to sign up for this deal, <laughs> metaphorically. You're like, oh, I don't know about this. I want something more. Yeah, see, I'm telling you, you focused on your finances, on your career, loving yourself first. And um, I'm not surprised that this person has an eye on you. In their eyes, you're unattainable in a way. And um, they can just fantasize of getting you. And it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Even in this picture over here, I'm going to show it to you from close up. Look at the way she looks at this man. She's like, mm, I don't know. I'm going by that kind of vibe. She's very suspicious. And if you had a gut feeling that you are suspicious about this connection on this person, I feel like your gut is trying to tell you something. And if I were you, I would listen. Anything else? Let's see. Prepare for changes in your environment. And Metallica, King of Nothing. Yeah, I'm getting that this person may have quite a high ego or the only one thinks when it's hard to get them and once they get them, they, they start getting bored. Or maybe this is you, I don't know. But I'm picking up someone's energy who's like, I have my crown on top, but if I meet someone who's stronger than me, um, who is more assertive than me, then my crown suddenly drops and I'm like, like a puppy. Just want one thing just to play the king, but the castle crumbled and you are left with just a name. Whoever this is, this is someone who's really trying to build a name for themselves and reputation is everything. See, I told you that before with reputation. What if I do this and my, my reputation or image is going to be destroyed or is going to be impacted the way that I don't want it? Maybe there is a reason for it, right? Professional reason. But for others of you, it's, it's fragile ego I'm picking up here. Really fragile ego. I hope this made sense, pal number two, and this was helpful. Um, and you know, you can recognize who this person is. If you need more content, find me on Patreon. Until the next one, bye. Hey, pal three, let's figure out who this person is. Um, these two cards from Texture Tarot, got it off Etsy. Uh, this is Team Punk Kipper and the Game of Thrones. We're gonna pull more cards as we go. We have Courthouse. Mm -hmm. We have Eight of Cups. 
We have the six of spears. Oof. We have the page of cups and the nine of cups. Let me tap into this energy. Let's see. Who is this person who has an eye on you who loves you? Hmm. By the way, first thing that I'm getting here with page and nine of cups is that this, this is someone who remembers you really, really well. When they think of you, they think of only all the good things you experienced. Um, it was very sweet spending time with you or it is very nice spending time with you. This is someone who sees you almost as if um, if you were together their dreams would come true. They wouldn't need anything else. This person has a connection to um, either law, so they might be working in that field or working with formalities, or maybe you want to get your form stamped or someone has provided you legal advice and this person might be the one working there. Mm, I feel like you were in touch with this person or you are maybe right now in touch with this person right around the time when you had to you had some sort of form, formal dealings maybe you are buying or selling a house maybe you you were thinking about visa how do I get visa in order to to move to another country whatever the case there were there were papers involved Maybe some of you, this is someone who you're no longer with, but you were tied formally to them in some way. Because we have the Eight of Cups. Um, there's a bit of a history to you too, I feel like. Someone has left the town or someone has left, I'm picking up. And the other person remembers them really well and... It's hard for them to forget. They're remembering the good times. This is someone who might be visible online. Either they're active on social media and they post quite frequent, frequently, or their job requires them to be visible to the world in some way. This is someone who's overall visible. It could be that a lot of people know about them in in their town, in their city, they, they have a good reputation. Or people come to them for their services because of how good they are. Let's get more info about this person. How can you recognize who this is? We have a temperance. Okay. The lovers. I feel like you might be from two different backgrounds or you might live in different places. For some of you, your belief systems are very different. Um, one of you may be religious, the other, the other, I can't speak, the other one not. Um, one of you might be a witch, the other is an atheist. It's very different colors I'm seeing to how you stand spiritually, if that makes sense. Maybe one of you is more scientific, the other one is more religious or spiritual. How about this person's looks? How about this person's looks? Anything we need to know about that? Um, they have very nice lips. I want to see that. At least in your eyes. Plump. Plump lips. 
Six of Wands is here again. Damn. This is someone who gets quite a lot of attention. Now, I don't know if this is because um, we have a lot of suitors or a lot of people want to be with them or because of work. This could be either or. Yeah, this is someone who is very financially stable, whoever this is, or at least they are going that way. Um, and it's almost as if it's written in the stars for this person to be successful. They have to. That's that's what their soul is calling them to do and to really focus on their mission or to focus on their career. They're probably going to be, if not, live a, a luxurious lifestyle. Then they're going to have... I'm seeing a label, CEO, director, producer, that type of thing, a lawyer, a doctor, that's what's coming through to me, okay, what about feelings, let's see, cards on the floor, I'm too many, give me a second, what about feelings here? Yeah, this person misses you or they haven't seen you for a while and they're looking forward to seeing you again. See, I'm telling you, the Two of Cups is here. I can't wait to see you again. Mm, this person, by the way, thinks of you as a keeper. Okay, this is someone who's who looks at you seriously. This is not someone who is just interested to see where things go. They think that you are a really good person and you have really good morals and values um, and they could match them. Yeah, look, three of pentacles. I'm pulling cards as I'm speaking. And the eight of pentacles. They think that you both could work really well together. Some of you, you again, what I said before, you were connected to this person through work. Or both of you are going to create something together, bottom of a deck, Wheel of Fortune, that's going to bring quite a lot of financial resources your way further down the line. So if you want to speak to this person about business, about creating or building something together, um, I feel like you'll know that you have to build something together or you have to have a mutual business of some sort. Go for it because I feel like both of you are going to be really good. You bring in this to the table, I'm bringing that to the table and uh, we are a really, really good team, I'm hearing. Mm -hmm. um, this person also admires your work or your work ethic. What kind of job you have or your work ethic? Mm -hmm. Who is this person? I don't think this is someone that you are going to be romantically involved with at first. At first it may, may start as um, a work partnership or a friendship. The initial stage of this connection is that. And then I split the deck, we can move forward. Ten of Cups. And I think that's going to be important for both of you because you want to have a strong foundation to get to know each other, to see where your head's at, to see how you cope with difficulties, um, what your work is like, what other person's work is like, um, to get to know one another on a vulnerable level here. Look at the strength card. See what's happening? She is healing the paw of a lion. She's kind of like support system for that lion. So your friendship is going to be a foundation for this connection. Of course, you can go for it or you can say no. I want, I want someone else. You are, remember, you have free will. 
Let's see, anything else? I'm gonna pull a couple of cards that have musical messages in them. We have Rudimental, more than anything, featuring Emily. If I could trust, don't you think I would let you touch me? I hope there is still hope for me. This is for someone in particular, I feel like, if you already have history with this person. Mm, if someone really thinks that, wishes that there is hope for them. Let's see what else. What else we got? Shakes Milano Awake. Original remix. Been awake for some days. No time to sleep. Yeah, I'm telling you, someone is daydreaming. Someone is thinking constantly about you. It's like they even might tell themselves like what happened to me i haven't felt this way for a long time it's a very mature feeling this is not a childlike or teenage-like type of feeling that i'm getting here it's a very mature feeling this person really appreciates your morals and values and the way you lead yourself in life one card on the floor let me pick it up Okay, let's see. Oh. Pile two got that and pile three too. Now, this is a random message. This isn't uh, connected to music. Anytime this card pops up, um, there is a message saying, have you heard me? Your ancestor or your guide was recently or will be in the next couple of days, no more than that. Here to pass your message, have you heard me? Or listen closely. One more. Mystique Scandalous. Mm -hmm. I feel like some of you are coming from the other pile. Um, the way you move so scandalous, it's all about the two of us. One night stand is not enough. Yeah, and in this case, in this reading for pile number three, and this is someone who's definitely not looking for a short-term type of connection, connection, commitment. This is someone who um, is thinking about marriage. Maybe this is someone who was married already. The vibe that I'm getting from this person is very serious, very responsible, and... Um, Someone who doesn't want to rush, jump into um, sex straight away. This is someone who wants to really get to know you. I hope this was beneficial and interesting, pal free. If you need more content, find me on Patreon and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.